Let me welcome my first guest, Chef Sam. Hi. Hi, hey, Susie. How are you doing? How are you? Good, good, good. Good. Okay, now, Sam, what do you bring us today? Today I'm making borscht. Borscht? Bo yes. Okay. My mother's family were Belarusians, and okay. this is the Belarusian recipe. Okay. Borscht is very popular amongst all Eastern Europeans. Okay. Russians, Poles, Ukrainians, etc. Okay. They're all going to claim that they created the dish. Okay. But it really came from the Swedes. Swedish Vikings bought the dill and all the ingredients down. Okay, if I were to give any of the Slavic countries credit for it, they'd hunt me down. Okay. And so that's the reason why I'm playing it safe. Okay. There are three types of borscht, mm -hmm. all right? There's red borscht, which is made with beet. There's green borscht that's okay. made with sorrel. Okay. Or, What's uh, a sorrel? Sorrel is um, it, it's like a green plant, like a, like okay. a lettuce, okay. but it has a lemony taste to okay. it. And also stinging nettles, mm -hmm. all right? And there's white borscht that's made with potatoes. Okay. Now, most essential ingredient of all of them is dill. All right, okay. and uh, fresh dill, you know, you can add the market, and just wonderful ingredient to okay. add to the soup. Okay. Now, I have here a beef stock. Mm -hmm. Now, when making borscht, you can use any stock, beef and smoked meat, uh, like, you know, smoked pork cocks or mm -hmm. smoked ribs are the preferred ones. Okay. But, you know, sometimes you don't have it. You can use uh, game. Mm -hmm. uh, czar borscht, which was made for the czars, they used duck stock. They mm -hmm. had duck in it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in Siberia, you're using caribou. Okay. All right. And if you're um, someplace else down, uh, might be using lamb. So what we're going to do now? Okay. We got the uh, stock going. So let me just um, uh, put in the, uh, the the beets. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to see how I did the beets. These okay. are called alumets, or all right, which are like matchstick style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. You, you slice the beet and, 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 and then you slice it real thin and then you cut them like this. Yeah. All right. So I'm putting the, the, uh, the beets in. Okay. Now, when you cut it, go ahead. When you cut it, do you wear gloves? Because the beets are very red. How you handle the color? I wash my hands after. That's it? That's Does that it. take right away? That's right. Okay. So I did the same thing with the carrots. All right. And then I uh, diced up the uh, celery. The celery cannot be cut into this shape. No. All right. Okay. Celery will be fine, oh. chopped. Okay. So we're going to let this cook. Okay. And we're going to let that, um, we're going to add the cabbage and the meat later on. First dill. Secret. Dill. You okay. have to have it? Yes. And you is have it to every ha single meal? No, but it, and sour cream. Sour, sour cream. cream is the most essential ingredient amongst all Eastern Europeans, all right? We, Sour we put, cream. We put it in everything. Okay. okay. Now that we got the onions lightly browned, I'm going okay. to add in the tomatoes. Tomatoes, All right, okay. these are whole uh, plum Italian tomatoes. You put the whole thing in. That's oh, right. You don't chop it. Oh, no, I'm going to smash them up while I'm in here. And okay. the reason why we buy the, the, these ones, so I'm going to show you a little something and this is how I did the cabbage leaves. Okay. I'm going to make a chiffonade. It's a cabbage. No, this is the stems of the... Um, of the, uh, the beets. Oh, you, the beets. You, you use you, the stand you too. You use everything. Okay. Now, when you buy um, beets, right, uh, okay. with the stems, usually the beets are really, really tiny. So you're going to have to buy a, a loose beet or two to okay. accommodate, you know, to, to make up yeah. the difference. So I'm going to chop these up. Chop it and then do that. And then later, when are you going to add beef? Beef comes near the end? In the end. Near the end, not near the end. Near the end. Okay, right. so it's boiling pretty good. Okay, now. So the stock is a boil? Yes, it's boiling now, so I'm going to add in the cabbage. Cabbage? All right, okay. now I have a couple cabbage leaves which I chiffonade, and I'll show you that process. Okay. And then I'm going to add in the, the meat. The beef. <laughs> This is the beef. Yes. See, what we have here, we put out all our ingredients. This is called mise en place. That's a French um, way mm -hmm. of to make sure that all your ingredients are properly uh, okay. uh, out. And then I'm going to put in the stems from the, uh, the beets. Okay. And then I'm going to chop up some fresh dill. One thing about dill is you can freeze it. You can freeze it? Absolutely. You just put it in. The color will be changed. No, or not. No? Okay. As a matter of fact, um, when you make the stock, you usually take um, the, the stems of the Stem. dill okay. and you put it into the stock pot. But I already had some um, dill previously, so I bought a new bunch. So what you do, we're going to chop some up. Okay. And. Is that just like a garnishing? No, this is flavor. Oh, flavor. This is flavor. That's the flavor. Okay. Right? So. Uh, 
Oz, Oz is tomato. And why? It's because, well, oh, it's, it's, a boy. It's, it's like, the, you know, the North Americans like tomato. And we're going to add this in. Okay. And then we're going to bring this to a boil again. Again, yeah. Is the flavor good? I want to try Perfect. it. Perfect. Wow, look at this one. Looks so delicious. Mmm. My God, I never tried a soup like this. It's so delicious.